always bring our own leggings bags. We keep a bag of them, so we're just bagging up everything. All right, we are off to get a couple things from Walmart and then home so you guys can see how much we spent and what we got. And look, if I buy this right now, it's gonna be a dollar ninety-eight, which is a two ninety-eight, and it's a family bag, which is bigger than the ones we've seen at Aldi's. And right now, it's taking off a dollar. So, okay. So, yep, I'm gonna get these two. This Rizzy, I'm gonna get her the bold one, and then get Naya the sweet and salty one. Found this box of popsicles right next to our truck. They look like they fine. Like nothing wrong with them. They don't look wet or nothing. Oh well, we'll see. Hopefully ain't no bomb in it or nothing crazy. Drivers, <laughs> I am back with another grocery haul and I'm trying to get back on track so that way I can only grocery shop every week for whatever's on the menu. So this particular week we have, our menu is, so we do the first two weeks and then now at the end of this week we're going to figure out what we're going to put in for these two weeks. So we have chicken DVN tonight fish and chips, steak and baked potatoes, which is going to be a sweet baked potato, and we're doing goulash. Now, we know that with the chicken DVN, we usually have some form of leftovers, and actually with the goulash as well. So that's why I have empty days. I usually only put five things on the menu because normally Saturday or Sunday, we will either be pushing one of these meals over because we had a busy week or one of them will be a leftover. And we always have a you pick type of day. So that's why I only do five meals. Now we're going to have company and I'm more than likely going to probably be going out to eat um, company coming into town with them one night. So chili here was right at the end down there. So I just scooted it over here, but I did shop for the chili on this week being that it was already on the list. So that way I don't have to buy the stuff for the chili on next week. So let's just see what we have. So we're going to start from this end because I got to put this ice cream away. So let me zoom in for you guys so you can see. So over here we got some brown eggs and these were from Walmart. Um, our total at Walmart was $20 and I think like 90 something cent. So I got some brown eggs. I wanted to try these Belveda biscuits for the mornings where I do want something to eat, but I don't want to eat a full meal or I don't want to cook. Then we have these, which is a family size. My girls love Chex Mix. Naya likes the sweet and salty. And then Rizzy likes the regular or the bold. So I got one of each and they had a dollar off coupon on them. I left the coupon on them, but I also had the two coupons that I got from two other bags. So these end up being $1.98 for these big bag of Chex Mix, which is way cheaper than the ones that were at Aldi's because they were like $2.80 something. And it is a much smaller bag, not a family bag. So I got a bigger bag and I paid way less than the amount at Aldi's with the dollar off coupons. So I'm going to be taking these off so I can have them the next time I buy them these to snack on trying to transition their snacks as well so that's why we got those i have strawberry ice cream because that's naya's favorite favorite and then i also have mint chocolate chip ice cream i'm gonna put these in the fridge or just quick hold on okay and i've seen these i love rice krispies i love rice krispies i love chicks chicks <laughs> kicks cheerios try to say both of them at the same time right um and so I was telling my husband about them. And we went in the store. And he came and was like, here, babe. These are the ones you was talking about. So I'm going to try them. And I'll let you know how they are. You know, we are cereal connoisseurs. We don't eat cereal every day, but we do enjoy cereal. So that's um, something that I wanted to try. So let's move on. Then we have four cans of kidney beans. I have cream of chicken and cream of mushroom, which I'm going to be using tonight for my chicken deviant. For goulash, um, for Naya, I have two things of the spaghetti sauce, which is the garlic and basil, tomato, basil, and garlic, and then mushroom. I have strawberries because she requested mommy make a cheesecake. So I'm going to be making a topping for my homemade cheesecake for her. And I got two little pecan pies. They don't eat these, and most people that don't really like pecan pie probably would not like these. See, I'm I'm a person where I have mastered a pecan pie to where a lot of people like it because they don't like these kind. But I'll eat those kind as well, but mine is busting. And when I want that pecan fix, I get these, and my husband usually try to keep a couple on deck for me. I think I have one left in the cabinet. Like on my midnight snacks, if I want something sweet, I'll eat these. And these are 50 cents from Walmart. And I want to say I think that was... It as far as the strawberries, that's all these. This was Walmart, this was Walmart, 
this, the ice cream, the Velveeta, Velveeta biscuits, and the Chex Mix, and the eggs. And that's it. Everything else is from Audi's. Okay, so let's move over here. And we have, what is this? We have some more chicken bouillon. I love this for different gravies and to flavor my food. Um, it's cheaper than buying chicken broth. Um, so I like using these. So if you don't know the difference, these give more flavor than chicken broth. You can just use a couple of these, which will equal, I think like two or three will equal like a nice uh, two cups, two to four cups. Of, one is like a cup, I'm sorry, a cup of chicken broth. One cube is like the flavoring in a cup of chicken broth. So it's cheaper to go this route because you'll use your chicken broth really fast. I got this for the goulash, some turkey, ground turkey. I got some moderate for the goulash. They like cheese on it. I got some mild cheddar for the um, chicken DVM, but I'm going to use a little bit of this moderate as well. I have some tomato sauce, two of those and a tomato paste for my chili. I need mayonnaise for tonight, and we also need mayonnaise in general, so we got that. Apple juice, we always like to keep on deck. Bagels, my kids love bagels, so we got some more bagels. And I can really eat any kind of bagel. I think the only bagel that I haven't tried is a blueberry bagel, and I don't even know if I'll like that. Then we got a loaf of bread. I got some crackers that's going to be to eat with chili or also whatever snack they want to use them for like cheese and stuff i know naya like cheese and crackers um but i'm also going to be using some of those crackers for my meal tonight i got some strawberry cream cheese which was a request from naya and rizzy they like it on their bagel um regular bagels some whipped topping i have some sour cream which I'm gonna need for tonight's meal and we'll have enough left for our chili and whatever else um, <coughs> we decide to make, excuse me. I know my hubby said he wanted to make some nachos so he probably use a little bit of that when he make his nachos as well. Got my cream cheese for my cheesecake and then I have some green peppers. I seen this in there. Have any of you tried these slow cookers from there? Never tried. It's an apple bourbon and it's for pork. So I guess you make pulled pork with it. My hubby said grab it so we can try it in a crock pot. So that might be something that, like if we buy do something like this, this will automatically give us an option for next week's meals. So we'll just be getting some pork. That way we can um, have pulled pork sandwiches or whatever we decide with the pork, um, what we do with this pork and this um, apple bourbon stuff for the crock pot. Then we have some sweet potatoes. We have, after I make the cheesecake, Rizzy's request was some um, chocolate chip muffins. So I got some semi-chocolate chips in a big bag, which was way cheaper than buying the little bag that is only 11.5 ounces. I got the 24 ounce bag for $2.79 and this is $1.59. So it was cheaper to get this bag. And they didn't have this in the big bag. So that's why I got that. Sweet potatoes for when we do steak, sweet potatoes, and cheddar broccoli. Um, and then I have some Velveeta cheese. That's going to be, some of it I'm going to use for the cheddar broccoli, but some of it I'm also going to use, that my husband's going to use for his nachos. Then up here we have our baked beans that we always like to keep on deck. So if we do a quick meal of pork and beans, well not pork and beans, but beans and weenies or whatever, we'll use those. We like to use the baked beans. Then we have some diced tomatoes, which are in basil, basil and garlic. Um, so yeah, and oregano for the chili. I have some oil because I need some of that. Then I have three soups. These soups are soups that we like to um, get for ourselves if we're hungry and we're not like in a cooking mood. We'll grab these and we have uh, corn chowder is, the, is one of them. Naya, my hubby likes um, corn chowder. I like corn chowder. Naya likes the chicken um, sausage gumbo. And my husband also likes the clam chowder. So that's what I got. I got those three. And then I have some graham crackers for the actual cream, the cheesecake. And then my hubby likes the um, Black Forest uh fruit snacks and we found these it's a tropical and it's like duels see it's got the two apple and pear pineapple and watermelon cherry and lime and mango and peach oh i didn't even see those flavors babe these are like they're gonna be real good so we got these i don't know how much these was but my total at oh and i got a yakisoba i know i know don't kill me these things are full of sodium and i don't eat them much but i have 
a taste for it. So I got it and it was 55 cent at Audi's. And then that box of Freezy Pops was outside on the ground by the truck. So somebody must have dropped it or whatever. I don't know. It doesn't look like it's damaged too much, but I did feel a little wetness on the side. So I'm going to open them up. They need to be rinsed off or whatever and make sure they're not popped or anything and put them in the freezer. So that was my entire haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm getting ready to put this stuff up. And um, our total from both stores was $82. And this was for a week's worth of groceries. Not really budgeting, just kind of getting things we need. Mind you, in this actual haul is stuff that we had to get that wasn't a part of the menu like this. You get what I'm saying? We didn't have to get this. So that was about two bucks. This was two dollars, almost three dollars. So that's five dollars. Um, what else? Like the oh this was three dollars so that right there that is eight bucks already that you can deduct of something we wouldn't normally get oh this right here was something we normally wouldn't get so that was another i think this was about four dollars so that's eight nine ten eleven twelve dollars right there these right here was just something on the whim just grab these were four bucks 13 14 15 that's 16 dollars this was on the whim these was three bucks so that's 17 18 19 dollars right this was on the whim that's 55 cents so let's just say that is um about 20 bucks so if we didn't get stuff like was just random that we just grabbed because we wanted to try it we would have saved 20 bucks and we would have been about at the 60 dollar range for shopping for our um menu for the week um like even the strawberry cream cheese that was something that we didn't have to have um what else is something we didn't have to have we didn't have to have um I think that's about it. Everything else is stuff that I needed for my menu. Um, these were four dollars a piece, so about twenty-five dollars. Um, this was this is not something we will buy every week um, because they will kind of last a little while throughout the week or whatever. So yeah, I would say about twenty twenty-five dollars would be deducted from this, bringing this total down to about. 55 60 bucks for the week so got these big thick steaks these are new york strip steaks so we got those for dinner as well and actually that was 12 dollars. so actually it'll even up to be around what we needed now i always keep haddock fillets on deck and i forgot to show you guys this as well i done took my lighting down and everything so i hope you guys are not bothered by that but yes we got a haddock box of haddock which is 38 dollars. this is not counting this is something we just like to keep on the days that we don't um, have nothing planned on the menu. My husband will make fish and chips, but this is a part of the menu. So we still stayed in budget if you take away the random stuff that we bought. And this is just something we like to have in the house. And this lasts for a couple months. So this doesn't count, but this was 38 bucks. And it is so freaking good. Oh, my gosh. All right, guys. Later, y'all. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I will see you guys in the next video. And if you guys have not subscribed, make sure you do. Make sure you thumbs up the video. And if you have any questions or ideas of some of the things you heard me talk about, my menu, how I shop, I'm going to be doing a more in-depth video about how I shop, how I make my menu, how I um, make my grocery list, and all that good stuff. So if that's something you guys are interested in, make sure you thumbs up and comment below if you have any questions. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Later, Gators. This is where I am on social media. Be sure to check me out, but also go check out my other channel, The CPR Vibe. The link is in the description box where we talk about all things reviving our lives. There are many playlists and how-tos on this channel that can help you save your coins. You can also see my renovation journey. If you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you are alerted of all the new videos. Later, Gators.